Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 17th, 2015. I'm Raquel Harris. And I'm Ashley Smith. Thank you for joining us this St. Patrick's Day on Newsbeat. An elderly man is dead after a deadly blaze in a high-rise located in the 300 block of South Damon. Fire crews rushed to West Point Plaza after getting a 911 call for help. A 70-year-old man is dead after a high-rise fire broke out on the near west side. The man was found on the 11th floor of the West Point Plaza building, where he was later transported in critical condition to Stroger Hospital and was later pronounced dead. The fire was contained to his one unit, and no one else was injured. Uh, we continued with a systematic search of the 11th floor and all the associated floors up above, uh, continued a floor to, uh, or top to bottom search of each stairway, and uh, gave final searches and uh, found no additional victims at that time. In order to keep high-rise buildings like this safe, buildings must include enclosing stairwells and self-closing fire-rated doors. Here are some fire safety tips for people who live or work in high-rise buildings. One, check out and get familiar with the building emergency evacuation plans, usually found posted on walls in the hallways. Two, be able to recognize the fire and emergency alarms, which can be buzzers or flashing lights. Three, report any blocked exits, damaged or broken fire safety systems, and follow up until the problem is fixed. There are other steps that people who live in high-rise buildings can take to prevent fires. For example, something as simple as owning an automatic shut-off iron. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to turn off the iron or unplug it, and so I really depend on that feature. The cause of the fire is still unknown, However, fire crews have returned to the high-rise building located on the city's west side to reassure the residents are now safe. Fire officials say the man used an oxygen tank, which may have been the cause of the fire, but the, investi the investigation still continues.